Welcome along boys and girls. Uh, we are on Thursday's session, Understanding Subtraction of Decimals. Based on the previous knowledge that you've already done in school, uh, we're just applying that to decimals like we did to addition. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of the learning ladder. Um, you pretty much know it. Set it out in columns and then subtract. Use your number bonds. So first of all, as a starter, pen and paper ready. Okay, spot the pattern. Okay, carry it on to 7 times 10 or 10 times 7. And uh, carry it on to 0 0.7 times 10 or 10 times 0 0.7. Okay, so carry it on. See if you can see it. Pause. Okay, let's move on. Pen and pencil ready. No exchanges. Very straightforward. Have a go. Pause. Okay, so let's go through the answers. There's no exchanges necessary here, so it's just straightforward number bonds. Let's have a look. Uh, 67 take 42 is 25. 167 take 142 is 25. Obviously, we've got a placeholder in the hundreds. It doesn't affect the digits. Uh, it would do if there was another column. Um, 6,367 take 4,242 is 2,125, okay, so that's 67 take 42 is in each question, and there's a 25 in each question, okay, those, those facts will still be there, all right, so let's move on to these ones with exchanges a little bit more difficult, so what I would like you to do, pause it, have a go, and now I'm going to go through, okay, so hopefully you've had a good go yourself, so 62 take 47, Two take away the seven, we need to exchange from our tens column. So that becomes a 12 take away seven. So the 50 and the 12 equals 62. So we've still got our whole number there. It's just partitioned in a different way. So 12 take seven is five. Five take four is one. Or 50 take 40 is 10. Exactly the same. Exchange. 12 take seven, five. 50 take 40 is 10. 400 take 100, 300. Exactly the same here. Exchange. Five. Fifty take forty is the one. Six take nine. Six hundred take nine hundred. We have to borrow from the thousands. Sixteen hundreds take nine hundreds is seven hundreds, and the two take away two cancels each other out. And again, that is just a placeholder. It doesn't affect the digits, um, but it would do if there was another column. So it's important that we put it in uh, if there is another column. So, on to decimals. Why are these a little bit more tricky? Because they are. It's because sometimes, like the question A, we've got four digits in one of the questions and we've uh, one of the numbers, and we've got three digits in the other number. So it's just about lining them up, and that's the year sixness because they're written horizontally, and it's up to you to put it into a column. So 145.9 take away. 28 and there's no hundreds so put the placeholder in 0.8 line up with decimal points 9 take 8 1 5 take 8 exchange 15 take 8 7 3 take 2 1 1 take 0 1 117.1 and then the last one as an example 50 take away 21.1 so what do I do here when I've got a whole number and a decimal? Well, I just turn the 50 into a decimal. I put in the decimal point there and put in zero in that column. Zero, take one. Oh, I've got nothing to exchange from. So I've got to come all the way to the five to make that a 40. Put 10 there. I still can't do that one. So I've got to make that a nine now. And that's a 10. 10, take one is nine. Nine, take one is eight. Four, take two. To 28.9. So, what I would like you to do is have a go at today's worksheet, Maths Day 3, Thursday, 15th of October, which is builds on what we've just done. Uh, check out LBQ for extra questions on this. And I will see you again tomorrow.